So today we are going to learn by doing, but also understand what would be your role if you're conducting similar activities, right? So at the end of the whole session, you will get to know that as a facilitator or as a speaker, I have done a 30% job and the 70% job is you who has to do it. That's the beauty about facilitation, right? So you see something on the screen right now, read it and respond to it on the chat box right away. Imagine an article about your experience in the past one year. The last one year has been super challenging, amazing, incredible, um, sorrowful, disgraceful for few, right? So write one headline if somebody has to describe your experience in the past one year and let the chat box get filled with responses quickly. It should be a headline. All right. Raj has written, it's, it was all opportunities. Okay. Come on, turn your minds, turn your minds. Create a headline that best describes you. Okay. Come on, more. This is just a warm up. There's more coming your way. All right. Okay, there you go. Chaos to come. Never give up. An eye opener. All right. Yes, yes. Now we are gaining the gaining the momentum. Yes, change is constant. Evolving, life changing. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So now, before I tell you why this was done, first let me take you to a close meaning to why we are here, okay? And to give you my participation, this is my headline, which says, lockdown brings red carpet moments to dreams untouched. So that's my article, my headline for you. All right, let's move ahead. Thank you, turning failures to positive experience. Thank you, let, let it keep flowing, thank you. <laughs> All right. So as learners, or you're engaging learners in your training rooms or your meetings, or it's a family gathering. So what does, what do people come in for on a virtual platform? Of course, number one, it was always that people were a little hesitant about getting or learning about Zoom, be it teachers, be it tutors, or be it participants, right? So let's understand when you're virtually engaging, how do learners get impacted? Number one, Learners get impacted by their comfort level, the participants comfort. Today, life has become a little easy when you are in your own house, you know, under your own, you know, roof and listening to a training, right? When it comes to comfort, it's always necessary to make your participants a little aware of why they are here and how they can understand the demographics of a particular platform, whether you're using Zoom, whether you're using a Google Meet, etc. Right? Then is the facilitator's energy. Yes, if you're speaking, I guess you should attract all attention on you. Facilitators activities. It's always necessary that each activity that we do throughout the training has to have some relevance into why we are doing it and how we are going to conduct it and what is the outcome. The next is the session design and content. So why are you designing a, you know, a graphic or a visual aid? means are you going to deal with only visual learners? Are there going to be auditory learners? Are there going to be kinesthetic learners? So if you have a mixed batch, how are you going to cater to each one of them? And the next is the capabilities of virtual platform. Zoom is very versatile. When you're using, you can you know, uh, break people into breakout rooms, you can give them activities, you can do so much more, right? How do we know about it? Because we have used it and we have seen the experience and the outcome of that, right? So if now this is clear to everybody, I'm going to break the session into three parts. Number one is make you more aware of how you can use icebreakers. Number two, how can you use energizers? And number three, how can you use closures? Now, when you enter the training room, it's important that you connect with people, that the participants feel, oh, wow, this is something I would like to learn, or this is something I was really looking out for. So how do you connect them? So that is where we talk about icebreakers. Now, icebreakers, in other words, are called as connectors. They're connecting me to my participants. So if my participant has come or my audience has come to listen to something, to gauge something, to learn something, 
I need to connect with them and I need to route them through this particular activity. So let's understand what they could be. Now, it, ice makers are something that can create a psychological safety that they feel safe. Oh, wow, I'm here to learn about activities, energizers, and his country is doing something to do with that. And we've just done, seen the first one. Let me look forward to the next. It connects my audience to the content. Then if you are here for activities, there should be activities. It can't be only talking, talking, or only listening, right? You need to do something to experience it. The next is it authenticates the outcome. Once you experience something, I guess that authenticates the content that is displayed in front of you. Again, it supports and encourages people to think creatively, helps learn about fellow learners. You'll see the different percep you know, perception about your fellow learners. How do they write? How is their communication style? How, how much time did it take to volunteer? And the last is it increases the chances to co-generate you know, co connect between learners. Right? So that's about icebreakers. So now let's head on to the first icebreaker. I hope you all are ready with all the stationery that's required today, a few pieces of paper, that's sheets, blank sheets, and colored pens or sketch pens. The bolder colors, the better. So that's the first activity for us. Story of my life. Take your first sheet. Take the first sheet and fold it into two halves. Now when you're folding it, fold it vertically. Everybody, fold it vertically once. Okay. Um, sorry, Kanchan. Yes. <coughs> sorry. Who is uh, this? Nitisha. Uh, Nitisha. Yes, uh, Nitisha. I, I don't think I have a book and pen. No problem. And you, no give problem. Me two. No, give me two. I'll just get it quickly. Super, super. No problem. No problem. So, till Nitisha is grabbing her sheets. Uh, if you have folded it once, we'll fold it again. Okay. So now this becomes ideally four sides. First side, the second side, third, and the fourth. Right. Now grab your pens. We'll wait for Nitisha for another few seconds. I hope everybody's ready with this. You also needed colored pens, you said, sketch pens, right? Yeah, that's okay. Even if you got have it, a... Got it. Yeah, no problem. So Nitisha, we just folded the paper vertically one side and then we fold it horizontally so that became four sides this is one this is two three and four all right fine now the first thing that you need to do if you have a pen number one is write down a title or something that describes this story of your life, something that describes you. Make it easier for you. If you see page number one, you need to write, if your life is a movie, what would you name it? Okay. On the second, okay, take your time. First, write this. If your life is a movie, write the name of your movie. If you're done with that, on page number two, you need to write three strengths, something that defines you, a few qualities that define you, three of them, okay? And there's no chronology, you can write it random, make a collage, one below the other, one next to the other. That's page number two. Page number three, something that you have achieved recently could be personal or professional. That's page number three, something that you have achieved recently, personally or professionally. And the last page, that's page number four, would be write three things you are grateful for. Hope my learners are using their mind and their fingers at the same time.
don't judge just think about it for that moment which is mindful and write it down that's the beauty about this exercise all right so page number 1 we have written the title of our you know if we if our life is a movie the title of our movie page number 2 is our three beautiful strengths page number 3 our recent achievements could be personal or professional and page number 4 is about three things that you're grateful for now if you all are done writing please stop i would like at least three people to volunteer and just to tell me what they have written and you're not here to judge so we are just here to sink into the activity and then i will debrief why we have done this and where can you use these activities Hi. Um, you are very like your voice is very faint. Faint. Um, yeah. Use uh, maybe a microphone or. Um... Sorry, sorry. I don't have the microphone. Oh, but now it's I... better. Now it's now better. it's better. It's much better. Much better. Okay. I think the current uh, looking at the current scenario, of the movie should be Kal Ho Na Ho for everybody. Okay. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. At the next page, your three interesting qualities. Hello, have we lost him? Is there a lag? Kanchan, can I start? <clears throat> yes, may, uh, yeah. Okay. May I know your name, please? Yeah. So hi, my name is Natisha. Hi, Natisha. <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead. So, uh, the first thing that I have written is a fighter. Uh huh. And then uh, you know the three. Um, um, I'm sorry, I missed out on the three um, qualities. Qualities, yeah. Oh, three uh, strengths you can say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that is willpower, patience, and creativity, and strength. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the next thing was an achievement that one must have gotten personally or professionally. So for me, very honestly, it was professionally because I've been contemplating doing. Uh, you know a course uh, on image consulting for the longest time now okay. so uh, i've been back and forth with a lot of other institutes etc for the last i think 7 8 years and finally i took the plunge and i joined isim so for me that was an achievement congratulations <laughs> thanks and uh, three things that probably i'm grateful for is uh, my family and friends who are my strength my daughter primarily Uh, uh the third would be the roof food my health and all the money i have access to so those Super. are the things i'm grateful for lovely thank you for sharing such a first on a personal note thank you so much i will give me three week about this activity in another moment sure. if i get the sure. third person will be taking three volunteers in almost all the activities so please gear up and don't think should i answer should i say should i you know uh, contest no please go ahead this is the most beautiful part of conducting activities third person who would like to go quickly we have so much more to cover come on there is an activity to break the silence also but that will be done at the end <laughs> so can't i like can give it to you uh, i'm sorry someone was talking uh, this is nitisha again Yes, I just Nitisha. attended a session, and I'm not really going to say what was and uh, what it was about. Uh -huh. But I think um, uh, to begin with, your session is just started, but it's extremely overwhelming and very interactive, which I should give it to you for. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I would, I would be giving you a, you know, a helping aid to all the activities. So don't think that only because you all are, you know, unaware of how that how it is to be done. I have kept all the, you know, the answers ready in front of you. I just need people to just start talking. There was one more voice I heard before Nitisha spoke to me. Who was that? Who would like to go I'm ahead? Thinking, uh, yeah, it was uh, me. Uh, sorry, someone else was speaking. No, no, Shita, go ahead. This is Sonia, and uh, for <laughs> the 
quick announcement for all participants. If you're joining at uh, in between or getting logged out for some reason, don't worry. In uh, maybe a week's time, we will be uploading this video also on uh, YouTube. So you will have access to it because uh, Kanchan is going to be sharing a lot of interesting activities. So uh, please, you can always refer to it and come back to it any point of time. Right now, when Kanchan is asking you questions and uh, wanting you to share uh, inputs, feel free to participate and unmute yourself and participate. Go ahead, Ishita. On, uh, uh, before Ishita starts on that note, which Sonia just said that I'm going to ask you all questions. So we always follow a mantra in a training room. What is said in the training room remains in the training room. <laughs> so you can, you can talk your heart out. <laughs> yes, Ishita, please go ahead. I was saying I haven't written the movie because I couldn't think of it. Can I, can I go ahead with the other three? Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Whatever you're comfortable. Yes. Yes. So the second one, uh, three strengths. Uh, first one is uh, that I'm emotionally very strong. Second is high commitment levels. And third is I am I have hold high uh, strong opinions and bold enough to share it with others. Superb. And third is, one. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Third one is uh, one achievement that I would like to share, and that would be I have been awarded as an uh, as a emerging profession professional at Aditya Birla Group. So I was among the four, four of uh, the people who were awarded in the entire group. All right. Thank you. And the fourth one is three things that you are grateful for. Uh, first one is I'm grateful for the life, for my life that I exist. Second, for my family. And third, for all the opportunities that I had uh, since till now, up till now. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Ishita. On that note, I will quickly share something that I have also created. Just to give you an example about how participants can come up with something creative. Number one is the page number one. My movie title would be, yes, a creative survivor. Uh, three strengths that I hold is courage, confidence, and yes, compassion. Uh, my latest achievement on a very personal ground is, yes, discovering myself each day. <laughs> and the last is the three things I'm grateful for. Of course, there's a long list, but this is something I could summarize is, of course, this beautiful life that you get. You get to, you know, wake up each day, which is a blessing in itself. Teachers, you know, everybody is a teacher, you know, you know whether you have your formal teachers or the informal ones, and of course, family. So this is something that people will create. So why, are, why is this particular activity conducted? Now, what is an icebreaker is connecting people. So in this... right if i'm not wrong in pronouncing uh she spoke and of course another person spoke he has not introduced his name but yes what these people did is they spoke about themselves so some of the other way you come to know the demographics and the psychological you know uh, backing that people come from what are they where they are standing right now and where they are heading to so you get to know a little bit more in depth about your participants so this activity can be used in different processes now, what do I mean by processes is maybe you're conducting a communication skills training. You can use this activity there so that people start talking. You need that first step of courage that has to be introduced among participants to start speaking to each other or introducing themselves because that's a stepping stone to any communication. Or it can also be used, you can mold these questions into different aspects. So if I, I'm doing an image consulting uh, you know, session, I might mold the questions in that way. So you, you have the whole you know, flexibility to keep, you know, tweaking with words here and there, all right? So without further delay, we move on to the next one. Image, yeah. Okay, image metaphor. This activity, I must say, is a globally recognized activity. Be it a training that you're conducting for kids to a training that you're conducting at a leadership level. It helps in every aspect of training. Now, what you have to do is take a piece of paper, okay? And I see these beautiful names on my screen. I have Amit, I can see uh, Nitisha, I can see uh, Deepika, I can see so many. I can see Raj, Nikki, and beautiful names. Now, if you have such beautiful names, let's use them today. Take the first initial letter, okay? If my name is Kanshan, I'll take K, okay? So I take K and I write it with a big, bold font, okay? And what I need to do is, 
create an image, draw an image around my letter, which answers the question, what an impressive image means to you. So what do you see as an impressive personality in an individual? So tell me about this through your initial, okay? And you get only one minute for this. So start scribbling quickly. Only one minute. Time starts now. Sanjan, do you want everyone to maybe um, switch on their cameras and then share what they have drawn? Yes. So yeah. at this juncture, thanks, Sonia. At this juncture, what happens is you have two choices. Number one is you can tell people to volunteer if they're not comfortable because it's an icebreaker. You're just beginning the session. You're trying to connect with people around. If not, you can tell everybody to switch on their cameras and just display their uh, you know, art. So that could also be done. So if somebody wants to volunteer, why am I trying to volunteer? Because we'll not be able to allow them to talk because we have a restricted time. So if people who want to volunteer can just go ahead, just tell me they're interested and don't feel that I can't doodle, I can't scribble. It's just a creative art which wants to emote something. So my, my only uh, you know, intention here is communication. I want to learn, I want to listen to you. Yes. Who wants to go? Or shall I randomly pick names? Whoever is on my screen, okay? Come on now, let's see. Um, I just close my eyes and pick somebody. Neha Bansal. I can see Neha Bansal. If you can switch on your camera and just show me your artwork if, if, if you're not comfortable speaking. And what have you done? Yeah, hi, Kanchan. I'm so yeah. sorry I missed this activity. I wasn't okay. around. No so problem. <laughs> probably in the next one, I'm go surely going to volunteer. Just Super. excuse me for this one. No yeah. problem. No problem. So I'll keep you, keep your name locked for the next one. <laughs> All right. May I have Varsha? Hi, Varsha. Hi, Kanchan. Hi, Hi. Kanchan. Yes. So I want to see the victory. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Whatever randomly you have scribbled, what, of course, you know, what's an impressive image? Imagine, you know, your initial is defining it. Lovely, no? I will also help everybody in this activity, but I want you all to, you know, use your imaginary powers. So, Kanchan, uh, um, I'll just share, or I'll not share, I'm still doodling. <laughs> But uh, just to maybe oh. show everyone to get started because it's, not, it's a very starting point and we don't have uh, that much of time. But I see the alphabet S means S from my um, from my name. So huh? one is that I relate with is uh, S. I see it as water. So there is that flow of water. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you turn S, you know, in a horizontal format, it became, becomes an infinity. So it can yes. kind of turn into an infinity. So the other iteration of S that I really like, and I have it in my signature, is also the, I write S in a lightning way. So you, know, you show mm -hmm. S as a, so if I have to talk about impressive, I am trying to make a combination of S with the flow, with the water and infinity as well as lightning combined together. So I'm just still brainstorming how to combine these three elements of lightning, the flow, like water, and infinity. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so uh, Kanchan, yes. like yes. if I uh, say about like my letter V, so uh -huh. I would say like, you know, how birds flying in the air, the V shows uh -huh. limited reach and freedom, you know? Wow. So have the potential to fly high, to your ultimate, uh, you know, uh, potential and uh, freedom, you know, Beautiful. that way. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. Uh, anybody else? If not, then I'll show you my artwork. 
I represent K, that's for creativity. And I represent uh, what's an impressive image for me is, of course, I always wear the crown. That's necessary. You need to keep you know, balancing your crown every time. I have a heart of compassion. And yes, I believe that your aura has so much more to add to people's life. And that's how you connect with people. So if you have a balanced aura, it should also have you know the courage the confidence and the compassion to attract people around you. So that's my artwork for you. On that note, why would you use this particular activity is uh, to brainstorm people before reflecting on things around them. It's always good to reflect on yourself. So your introduction starts with you. Then why not something that really defines other things around you through your way or through your perception about what uh, principles, values you hold in your personal life. So this is that activity which you can use across age groups and across processes in a typical corporate setting also. All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll move on to the next. So now we have done, we are done with the icebreakers. We're now moving on to energizers, something that I love the most because it just peps up the whole atmosphere in a training room. Imagine if we are physically conducting sessions, how much energy gets, you know, vibrated around when you have people moving and doing something that can set the energy levels high in a training room. But yes, we can do it here too. So what do energizers do? The word itself says, yes, come on, pump up the energy and let's move ahead. So energizers help you control and track the attention of participants in a virtual setting. It's very challenging on a platform like an online training when you have, where you have no clue because everybody has switched off their cameras and you're the only one looking at yourself and talking continuously for the past 30 minutes. So how do you engage them? So either you have, you know, a precondition before you start your program that yes, it's compulsion that everybody has to keep their videos on irrespective if there is a lag. Secondly, please volunteer. So a few things you can be a little, not strict, but you can set the protocols of your training program. The next is it aids as a quick summary or a debriefing exercise. So let's have these very quickly. A fantastic activity. I want everybody to be super alert now. Everybody's fingers should only be typing. Movie exchange is the name of this activity. And what we are going to do now is take any name of the movie, you know, a Bollywood movie or a Hollywood movie. One word from that name of the movie, just one word, change it to the word sale. S-A-L-E, sale. Okay, sale as in sales and marketing, selling, sale. Change one word from the name of the movie to the word sale and put it on the chat box. Kanchan, I'm sorry, I missed it. Sure. So the name of the activity is movie exchange. So you're exchanging one word from the name of the movie to the word sale. Okay. For a sale. Thank you, Ashwin. <laughs> Moving on. Sale na milega dobara. Okay. In sale of happiness. <laughs> All right. Next. Come on. Come on, let, let it flow. We are on the right direction. I would also give my insight. Kabi khushi kabi sale. <laughs> Black sale. Sale to hona hi tha. Okay. Sale yo zindagi. All right. Okay. So that's the level of energy that gets sui dhaga sale. Okay. Super. Thank you, Raj. So you see, just a, a difference in that one word, you just replaced one word, like sale ferry, then sale we mate. No time to say <laughs> James Bond. Okay. Thank you, Eva. So uh, if I only exchange that one word to any word that my training content or my training objective is directed to, I can really push up the energy. So imagine if you are, a, in, you are into an intense sale training where people are sitting and understanding figures and targets and everything else. And imagine such kind of activity really distresses, brings the monotony down and also helps people gear up better and connect better for the training ahead. So we have love sale doka and gangs of sale. Thank you. 50 shades of sale. Wow. Let's keep flowing. Thank you so much. We'll move on to the next one because energizers are, you have to do it at the you know, strike, of, strike of the lightning. Just do it and finish it. You can't spend more time because it's an energizer. You need to rise the energy and then go on with that particular tempo. Moving on to the next. 
Do and do. Now for this activity, you need to keep your videos, video cameras on because we need to follow something. All right. So if I can have everybody's videos, video, means cameras on, I can tell you this is something very similar to we some activity that we have done in our childhood. Okay. So it's called the do and do. Now what you usually do with this particular activity is I give you an instruction. You just need to merely follow it. Okay. So the the instruction could be when I say lean in, you lean in towards the camera, and then I say lean out, you move backwards. So it is just about following instructions. So if I say lean in, everybody leans in and lean out. Okay, lean in, lean out, lean in, lean out. Now do the reverse of it. When I say lean in, you lean out, and when I say lean out, you lean in. Okay, lean in. Lean out, lean in, lean out, lean in, lean out. Okay, so you can raise the speed of this, confuse people, and this will really boost up their listening skills for sure. So that's a quick activity. Of course, you can do it across age groups, and that's called do and do. Moving on to the next. Don't get terrified with the name. That's called the COVID stretch. Okay, now that you all have been sitting for the past 40 minutes, it's time to get your spinal cord erect. Stand or you stand up, sit in a posture which is straight, and now just open your arms. Let's have the COVID stretch. Number one, step number one, what COVID protocols say is social distancing. Come on, move your arms, social distancing. Keep them away, keep people away. Cover your sneeze. Get vaccinated and everything's going to be fine. <laughs> so let's do it. One, two, three, four. Social distancing, cover your sneeze, get vaccinated and everything's going to be fine. So it's the one, two, three, four. <laughs> so that's a lovely exercise. Let people, you know, groove to this. You can do it a one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one and confuse them to the court. So that's a brilliant way of energizing your whole training program again. So yes, that ends the energizer part. Now let's, okay, this is just a, a correction or a, the steps that you can, you can, you know, follow when you're doing the step one, two, three, four. We can note it down if you want, or we can share it later. Moving ahead, that's the end. Now we are reaching to the closer of our session two. Closures are something that brings the whole summary together. Closures help you review main points, plan for future actions, shift the focus from learning to application, meaning implementation, and provide a feedback to the facilitator. Now, if you have seen more or less every time, after every training, the trainer or the facilitator will ask you, oh, so what is your feedback about the program, right? It's a very, very typical, a very routine kind of a question that usually people ask. But how about twisting the whole question and doing something like this? The activity is you have to rate how do you feel right now. There are numbers given below each image and each image is giving an emotion. So now rate yourself accordingly and put that one rating, that one number on the chat box to tell, how, tell me how are you feeling right now. All right. 2.5. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Five, beautiful, beautiful, lovely. This particular activity can also help you when you're doing a one-to-one -one consulting with your clients. What happens is many a times uh, clients come with a lot of baggage, with a lot of psychological pressure. So instead of directly asking questions, you can, of course, you know, on a lighter note, you can start your in, you know, consulting with an activity which portrays something to do with their emotional, you know, uh, emotional status at that moment. Right? So that's one of the closures. Moving ahead. Thank you so much, everybody. Now we have a fantastic activity. Everybody has a paper. Just crumble it into a ball. Okay. What's the power ball? A power ball has the power to make the other person speak. So if I'm the facilitator, 
I will initiate by throwing this at one of the participant. I will take the participant's name. The participant, once he receives the ball, of course, a virtual ball, <laughs> what you have to do is tell me one thing that you have extremely enjoyed in the past 40 minutes. Okay? So I throw the ball at, I'm taking a random name. Now, whoever I'm calling out will have to switch on the camera or the audio or both and answer that what is something that you have enjoyed in the past 40 minutes and you have the authority to pick the next person to answer the same question. So the ball goes, you know, rolling to everybody. So you can either come, you know, cover the whole uh, group of people in this activity or you can, you know, stop at number five or number seven and you have to seven people who have spoken. This is an activity which will make people alert because anybody's name will be called. So it's easier to gain attention of your participants. Fine. So I'm calling out to... Jotsna, Jotsna, your ball comes here. How, what have you found interesting in, now? Come on. Yeah, Catch. hi. <laughs> Thank you. I'm feeling so energized. It was such a great learning. All right. Okay. One thing that in, in, in one word, how would you describe your experience? Awesome. Super. Absolutely. Pick the next Super. person. Pick the next person now. Come on. Throw the ball at the next person. Ball are there. Let me see. Anybody at random, whoever, whoever you see on your screen. Anila. Okay. Hi. Yes. In one word, what have you experienced in the past 40 minutes? So much things like the energizers and the ice breaking was superb. So I will express that it was fantastic. Superb. Anila, pick the next one. Eva. I, uh, I would say it's engaging for engaging. the past 40 minutes. Yeah, thank you. Thank I'll you. I'll pick the next person would be Deepika. Deepika, over to you. Oh, hi. Yes. Uh, so for me, uh, the, the past 40 minutes was full of energy, is what I can say. Uh, it's great learning. Uh, but it's more about the energy. Uh, you have that aura that you've created. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you, Deepika. Pick one last person. Come on. The one last luckier one to come on on, on camera in the spotlight. Uh, I, I would like to pick uh, Raj. Raj Gala. Thank you very much. Uh, the one thing I liked the most was the vertical paper with the fold of four and then to write down with the uh, many things. That brainstorming was very good. Thank Super. you very much. Super. Thank you, Raj. Thank you. So that was about the power ball. So it's imagine yeah, the Kachin, tremendous. Yes. Um, yeah, I would like to volunteer over here as yes. promised by me. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> yes, tell me. So the one thing I would like to say is the connection which you created amongst the participant. And yes, of course, your smile and your laugh, which you have been showing throughout the session. Thank so you. as a facilitator, you know, you really need yourself to energize to keep your participants energized. Thank you right. so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So on that super duper positive note, let's move on to the next, which is, of course, connected to this activity itself. That's called the C Zoom. Okay, what is this activity? It's very simple. Pick your papers again. Okay, just flip the side. If you have used it for one creative, let's not waste paper. Flip the side. And what you have to do is very simple. Okay, with me, I will just instruct you all. I hope you can see. We need to draw these letters that you see on the screen, but in a different way. If it's a C, draw a C which is upside down. Okay, now draw the Z. Okay, now cover the Z with a U. And now put a tiny M. Now let's light the bulb. So now is your turn to tell me one light bulb moment in the session. Something that you really learned and you are going to right away implement in your next training program or your next meeting or your next family gathering, which is going to be virtual, or your next one-to-one -one consulting. That one activity that you feel, oh, yes, this really was, you know, I felt connected to this one, and I want to use it right away. Okay? So now the people, you, you know, I can have three people who can volunteer. One light bulb moment. 
if you're comfortable talking, you can use your audios. If not, you can also use the chat room. Okay, Neha says the name initial, okay? That's the image metaphor. The name of the activity is image metaphor. Thank you, Neha. Anybody else? Two more? Your light bulb moments. Okay. The movie exchange. Thank you, Jotsna. So the movie exchange activity is something that you like. Okay. The headline, which best describes the person. Do and do. All right. How to make a... Yes. Ah. Somebody wants ah. to speak. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, yes. So that was about... Okay, the connectors, the size breakers. All right, thank you everybody. All right, so that was the end of our whole program, which was about how to conduct virtually engaging activities. This is just a summary for you all to know the names of the activities that we have used today and so that it's easier for you to correlate and use them in your next training programs or your next interventions, which could be online. All right. So yes, that's all from me. Icebreakers were the headline that we did, the story of my life, the image metaphor, energizers we did, the movie exchange, do undo, the COVID stretch, closures we did, the rating scale, how do we rate ourselves as participants, the you know the Powerball and the C Zoom. All right. And on that note, that's a humble gratitude for me to all of you for being such fantastic participants, listening to me engaging yourself and pouring your energy to just brighten up this training program. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. You can also click the bell icon to get the latest video updates.